Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this procedure safely. In this video, we will show one or more of these icons to alert you when to use caution. Before you replace the throttle cable on your hedge trimmer, first make sure the engine has cooled. To prevent the engine from accidentally starting, remove the wire and boot from the spark plug. Turn the hedge trimmer over and use a T25 Torx bit screwdriver to remove the mounting screws securing the blade and handle assembly. Separate the assembly from the engine housing. Use a spark plug wrench to help unthread the spark plug. Now confirm that the piston is in the down position. Insert a cord into the cylinder to prevent the piston from moving. Use a clutch removal tool to loosen the clutch by rotating it counterclockwise. Then unthread the clutch from the engine shaft. Pull off the washer. Use a T20 Torx bit screwdriver to remove the mounting screws securing the recoil assembly. Pull off the recoil assembly. Now depress the tab to release the air filter cover. Use a 5 16th inch wrench to unthread the locking nut to release the throttle cable from the bracket. Then unhook the cable from the carburetor. Use a T20 Torx bit screwdriver to remove the screw to release the grounding wire from the ignition coil. Then detach the ignition wire. Use a 3 8 inch socket to help loosen the mounting nuts securing the air filter and carburetor. Pull off the filter. Note the orientation of the fuel lines attached to the carburetor, then detach the lines. Be prepared for some fuel to spill out. Slide the carburetor off of the mounting bolts, along with the intake manifold gasket. Now remove the screw securing the engine cover. Remove the cover and pull the carburetor mounting plate up to release the cable. Next, remove all of the screws holding the handle base and cover together. Remove the base and cover from the gearbox assembly. Be aware the internal components will probably become dislodged. Detach the throttle cable from the trigger and disconnect the wires from the on-off switch. Pull the old throttle cable through the gearbox assembly to remove.
You're now ready to install the new throttle cable. Prepare the cable by transferring the adjusting nut from the old cable to the new one. Now feed the cable through the gearbox assembly. Realign the handle base and use a clamp to secure it. If the handle lock spring has become dislodged, reposition the spring on the lock and reseat the lock in the handle base. Realign the locking rod and the rotator. Align the on-off switch wires in the groove in the handle base. Insert the barrel end of the throttle cable into the trigger. Align the spring on the trigger, then reposition the trigger until it is fully seated in the handle base. Connect the wires to the terminals on the on-off switch and reposition the switch on the base. If necessary, replace the spring on the trigger lock, then reposition the lock and spring to align with the trigger. Make sure the throttle cable is inserted in the groove in the handle base, then carefully remove the clamp, support the base, and realign the handle cover. Replace the screws. Be aware you will need to thread the larger screws through the nuts to secure. Now insert the switch wires through the carburetor mounting plate and fully position the plate on the carburetor mounting bolts. Realign the engine cover and replace the screw to secure. Slide the intake manifold gasket onto the mounting bolts and reposition the carburetor. Reattach the fuel lines to the appropriate ports. Replace the air filter and secure the assembly with the mounting nuts. Connect the cable to the carburetor. Position the cable in the bracket. Adjust the cable until the trigger fully opens the throttle. Then tighten the locking nut. Realign the filter cover and snap it into place. Align the grounding wire on the ignition coil and replace the rear screw. To confirm that the ignition coil is properly aligned, first rotate the flywheel magnets away from the coil. Loosen both screws. Now pull the coil back and tighten the screws. Remove the cord from the cylinder. Insert a business card between the coil and flywheel, then rotate the flywheel so the magnets align with the card. 
Loosen the screws to align the coil the correct distance from the flywheel. Retighten the screws and remove the business card. Connect the wire to the coil. Confirm that the piston is in the down position and reinsert the cord to secure. Realign the recoil assembly and replace all of the mounting screws. Replace the washer. Thread the clutch clockwise onto the shaft and tighten. Remove the cord from the cylinder. Rethread the spark plug but be careful not to over-tighten. Carefully reposition the blade and handle assembly on the engine housing and replace the mounting screws to secure. Reattach the wire and boot to the spark plug and your hedge trimmer should be ready for use.